Hey, I'm a... Uh, hi, I'm uh, on the Groovy TV and I'm the Night Mutilator. Hi. <laughs> hey, this is Groovy. I'm here with Ryan, the Night Mutilator from Bloodshed Death Bath. How the heck are you, man? I'm doing a really good job. Thank you. That mic's yours. Okay. You can have First that. time I've seen a mic. What do you do with it? <laughs> what do you do with it? Yeah. I don't know, but it sure looks fun. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so tell me all about this wonderful stuff you have from Bloodshed Death Battle. Well, this movie here, I want to show you first things first, because these movies, all three of these, are going to be featured at the Comic Con. Is it Con? Denver Comic Con. Is it Dom? Dom what? <laughs> Denver Comic Con, I guess, Aye. is what they called this. So all three of these movies will be featured in my booth, which is the Bloodshed Death booth that is uh, co-joined okay. with uh, Daniel Crozier's booth, the uh, Miss Assembly booth that everybody knows of. So it's the Bloodshed Death booth and Miss Assembly. Together at last. <laughs> <laughs> in the same it's the, booth. Yeah. It's the greatest love story of all time. It's a very, very, very romantic comedy. It's got poop and uh, humping. <laughs> That's what made Friends such a great TV show. <laughs> That's all you need for a, a romantic comedy, right? Yeah, Could be a so. shot of like a toilet and then like a person kissing somebody else. And then that's the full movie. I, that's, that would be a bloodshed death bath movie. But anyways, I wanted to show you these films. Mm -hmm. This one was a huge hit last year at the comic con. Aye. And uh, since it was such a giant hit, I decided to make two more movies, which is actually three, because there are two movies on this new one called Draculio. <laughs> so it's a two for. It's a two for yeah. one. Yeah. Night Mutilator stars Serena Rose, who was in my booth last year for our haunted death booth which was amazing with the with the shower and everything that was that was great it had the shower and it had yeah. a little nudity from you no dan crozier no <laughs> <laughs> so none of that happened please don't sue us thanks but anyways Night Mutilator we made directly after Comic Con. Since I was in the booth with Serena, she was all stoked about this haunted house, yeah. horror movie extravaganza. And she was like, I'm staying in Denver and we're making a movie. So we made Night Mutilator. Uh, it is complete, mm -hmm. completely uh, mm -hmm. s just fantasy horror. Uh, it's, just, it's got some of the best parts of any movie you've seen, all in one movie. And then uh, the, the second movie that we made is Draculio. And this is actually a prototype because this... It's not even done yet. It's not even done yet. That's how cutting edge this is. It's super cutting I'm edge. Super cutting edge. Super cutting edge. So we have a prototype that, of one of our movies that go direct to DVD every time. They're that good. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> and this movie also features uh, this guy. I'm not in it. No. Yeah, he's on the back. If you zoom in, I don't know if you can. Can you zoom in? Try it. Not that far. Oh, can you say it? <laughs> Is it possible? We're good. We're good in there. You see him? <laughs> it's blurry. <laughs> it's blurry, but he's there. So he's in this movie. And uh, this movie is probably the weirdest thing I've ever Which, seen or been a part of, and I feel ashamed. But it's absolutely phenomenal at the same time. Which, coming from you, I mean, that's, you know, you're sort of known for being a bit strange on things. So for this to be the strangest one, it's groundbreaking. It's new strangeosity. It's fantastic. It's like completely scientifically fantastic. <laughs> like you could prove it in a lab. Well, you can look on Wikipedia for it and it's easy to find. <laughs> it's like the number one article, right? It's got great, great like, great, great hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hell of a review. <laughs> So anyways, um, is that on the back of this? It's a great, great, like, back. oh, there it is. No. Again, with no. Actually, on the back, it says, destined to be the 
best vampire movie ever, which I don't know if I agree, but I guess the quote comes from the director and some of the cast, so <laughs> that was me. <laughs> you, you were the director. <laughs> Our movies, so everybody who has never heard of this or know why the hell I'm sitting here and what the hell is wrong with my hair, um, our movies are complete trash, they're garbage, but they're amazing they're for some hilarious. reason at the same time. I've made 11 of them. This is the 11th one, and I feel like I don't even know how that happened. All I know is that my small little bit, because I am, I'm top booking here, small I'm like bit. right after some sort of rabbit or something, mm -hmm. it was the most fun I've had in forever. It was hilarious. It was awesome. I was... Bam! It was hilarious. <laughs> it was great. And I ended up covered in blood. Yeah, he was covered in blood. He's done some other shorts with us for... Uh, we do a thing at uh, the uh, Three Kings Tavern. Uh, it is in October, and this is another thing that we're going to be promoting. Okay. It's called uh, the Horror House Fest pinball tournament of death and what it is is it's a pinball tournament okay. in uh, <laughs> it's a pinball tournament in a haunted house and it was a rager last year craziness it was craziness it was crazy right and you know i think you filmed some stuff on there it was kind of silly i suppose so yeah for possibly the, the circus, move the circus emporium we yeah. also did that, remember? <laughs> no, let's the big release, uh -huh. the Bloodshed Death Bath movie of the Draculio. We did shoot <laughs> in there. We've shot a few movies in uh, in that uh, facility. Yeah, it is. And a facility. Uh, one of the movies is Draculio. We have a dining scene there, and then we have another movie. Um, hold, wait for it. Okay, the other movie that was shot there was Motel London Two. Kids heads, kids heads exploded there. And it was a fantastic time. You know, what, the, what everyone really wants to know. Everybody? Everybody. There's 7.2 billion people on this planet people. right now. Motel London 3. It's got to happen. I know, because you were in it, remember? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Even that one, too. So the, that one has you in it, and we got to finish that. Yeah. But Problem is, I have too many pinball machines. It gets too confusing. I don't know if I should be editing a movie or playing a pinball machine, so I get confused. <laughs> I say edit a movie. <laughs> All right. We yeah. filmed that. Me and Enigma filmed that scene, what, six months ago? Enigma? Enigma. Edma? <laughs> <laughs> me and Edna, which is Enigma's new name. Hey, Edna. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember her. So she, she came over with this guy. We shot Motel London 3, even though there was no script as usual. And now i got to finish this crap. And I've already got like three other movies that I have to finish because it's the same old deal. Yeah, like, you know, Bloodshed, Death, Bath, the movie. Bloodshed, Death, Bath, the movie is shot. It's just got to get edited. Okay. We started shooting the, the New Year's Baby as well with this guy. And he plays a part. A very good part in that movie, and then as um, the New Year's baby, yeah. as a New Year's baby, <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. All that being said, what's your booth number again at Denver Comic Con? I have no idea what my booth number is. I think it's sixty-nine. <laughs> go, see, oh, no. go see the night mutilator, Ryan Bliski, at the Denver Comic Con. Visit me. And Miss Assembly will be there as well. They will. And buy my stuff. Don't worry about his stuff. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> How's that? <laughs>